What's going on guys, Too Fast Joe here, and today I have a special guest. I have Generation Defenders. Hey guys! Great. Well, my friend here, she is not a Sonic fan. In fact, she knows very little about the franchise. Is that true? Yeah, guilty as charged. But that's good because I'm going to be showing you 10 different Sonic characters, and you're going to have to guess their names based on the bio and uh, the description I give you. Alright. Am I going to get any hints at all? Yes, I'll tell you the backstory. And the backstory might link to what they might, what the name might be. Like, for example, you know, like Tails, his name is Tails because he has two tails. Knuckles uh, is Knuckles because he fights with his fists and so on and so forth. Alright, let's do this. Alright, first character. Okay. Is she a... Is she like a... I don't want to say bunny because she doesn't have a rabbit's tail. Is she like a... What is she? Well, she is part of the Knuckles clan. She is Knuckles' uh, is Knuckles's, uh, ancestor from hundreds of years ago. Anything else? She was friends with Chaos. Hmm. Lashes? Lashes the... The... And she, is she the same race as Knuckles, you said? Hmm. Th does it look like it? A bit, yes. So would it be Lashes the Echidna? Yes, Lashes the Echidna. Is that your final answer? Um, yeah, because you gave me so little. <laughs> Alright, her name is To Call the Echidna. How am I supposed to figure out To Call from that? Well, she's from Sonic Adventure, which is like the first 3D Sonic game, which like were very popular. Okay, next one. Alright, next one. Um, okay, so tell me about her. What is she? Well, she's from the Sonic Boom universe. She's, uh, she's really crazy. She's Amy's best friend in that universe. She's like, she lives on her own in the wilderness, and she's kind of like crazy and feral. Is she like a wolverine? No. Um... Uh, boomerang? You gonna offer the, uh, her little weapon she has? Yeah. Or, like, pigtails? But no, no, not pigtails, cause then, like, uh, tails is already a thing. Uh, here's another hint. She hates technology. <clears throat> she lives in the woods. She hates technology. She thinks the world's gonna be over, be, uh, taken over by robots one day. Hmm... Spirit? Alright, Spirit the what? Mm, I don't really know what race she is. I'm just gonna say the Echidna. The Echidna, alright. Her name is... Sticks the Badger. Ah! Damn it. Yeah, her name's Sticks because she hates technology and you know she, she lives in the woods with the woods that filled with sticks. Oh, okay, okay. Next one! That's a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, this is God of War. Is this really a Sonic character? Or are you just are you just trying to mess with me? This is from Sonic X. She is from space, and her race got taken over by the evil Metarex. She is the last of her kind. I think Pokemon the movie has to sue. Because, like, that's based off of a Pokemon. Like, I, I remember this uh, movie from Pokemon that had this exact character. And she was also, like, a god or something. Or she was, like, the last of her kind. Are you thinking of a god of war? I think so. It was, like, an entire movie about her. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, like, that. That this is a Pokemon. This isn't Sonic. I know exactly which Pokemon you're talking about. But um, this is um, this character is also Tails' love interest. Hmm. Okay, so if it's Tails' love interest, hmm. I'll give you a little hint for this one. Her name has something something to do with space. Nebula. Is that your final answer? Hmm. I'm going to like list a few random sh stuff, and hopefully, like it'll, I can like get like a response from you. All right. Nebula, galaxy, stars, planet, Jupiter, Uranus. You're naming planets. So it's not a planet. 
It's not a planet that has something to do with space. Starlight? Stardust? Luna? Okay, now you're just naming ponies. Damn it! That wrong show. Wrong show that you're obsessed with. Um and she's green. What's green in space that's that has she's, to do she's with She's also her? a plant being. She's a plant. Uh what's uh what is uh plant and space have in common? Um Okay, this is going to take forever. I'm going to just say Nebula as my final answer. Nebula, final answer? Yeah. Her name is Cosmo. You should have said instead of plant like the fairly odd parents or something. <laughs> like he's she's a, she's green like Cosmo too. <laughs> Next one. Oh, this one I think I kind of know. All right, who is she? Isn't she like Bunny Robotin... Robotnet? Something Bunny... You're close. Ro Is Bunny what? Bunny Ro... It's something has to do with like a robot. Um... Ro bunny... Rabot? Bunny Rabot! Yes! I, I, I actually knew this one! You got it! Yay! Yes! Yes! One out of... How many have we done? Uh, we've done four so far. Yes, one out of four. Yeah! Next one! Shit! <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's like... Do you guys remember like that old... Uh, that old nightmare fuel of toys that were coming out in the 90s? Was it like Furby or something? Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's it. Like, what the hell is that nightmare fuel? Well, this is a god. The hell he is. It's more like Satan. Every 1,000 years, Dark God rises from the planet to destroy it, and this creature right here rises up as well to stop it. In Sonic Unleashed, uh, he forgot who he was, so Sonic calls him by a different name. So this character has two names. Am I supposed to guess uh, both of their names? Or you can just guess one, one of them. His name is... One of his names is based off a ice cream topping. Cherry? Mm, keep going. Sprinkles? Keep going. Fudge? Yeah, because um, Sonic and this character were eating ice cream, and since Sonic didn't know what his name was, he just called them by... He just gives them a nickname. Whipped cream? Vanilla? Strawberry? Mm, Sunday? Remember, he's also a god that rises from the earth. And he's a good god. Is his god name based off of any sort of mythology? Or is it just like a random name that they made I up? believe this name is like, put be based off like the earth or like the ground. Um, Gaia? Say that again. Gaia? Uh, can you say it? Uh, you're close. Okay. Um, Gail? Mm, you're all, uh, you got the first letter. I'll give you that much. Gay. What about this, the first and second letter? Is it like gay? He's not gay. <laughs> I kind of walked into that one. Is it like G-A? Yes. Okay, um, Gatos? Um, okay, I'm gonna go back to like the ice cream toppings. Is it fudge? Or did I already say that? You already said fudge. Did I say whipped cream? Yes, you already said whipped cream. Neo? Neo? Like Neo, like that ice cream Neo? No, Pulton? it's not Neo. Um,. What kind of ice cream were they eating? It was on the cone. And it had it was like one of like cartoonishly large ones. Um Cone is my final answer. Cone? Alright. Yeah. Alright, his name is Chip, aka Light Gaia. How is Chip have to do anything with ice cream? Chocolate chips. Damn! 
And then like Gaia, because I think Gaia is supposed to mean like the Earth. And since he's a good guy, he has to have light in his name. Oh, like Gaia. And remember, he fights Dark Gaia. So when there's a darkness, there got to be a light. Oh, okay, okay. Damn, you already gave me the answer. Next one! Shadow! You're close. He took the form of Shadow's shadow. Mega Shadow! Ultra Shadow! Super Saiyan Shadow! There's already a Super Saiyan Shadow. Shadow's Shadow. Yes, he took the form of Shadow's Shadow, but this right here is one half of a god. Is his uh, name based off of any mythology too? Yes, I believe his name is based off of a demon. I can't remember which uh, mythology, but I believe his name is based off a demon. And you don't know like which mythology, like Christian? Um, uh... I believe it is Christian mythology. Uh. It's either Christian or Greek. Oh, well there's a lot of demons. Bezelbog? <laughs> what? That's a demon's name, Bezelbog. Have you ever read Lord of the Fro of the Flies? No. Okay, I'll give you his backstory. So, he is one half of a god. He was separated. And so his whole thing, he tried to um, get back with his other half by using the Chaos Emeralds. And he goes around manipulating people um, trying to get what he wants. Judas? No. Um, uh, Lucifer? He's kind of like Lucifer, but that's not his name. Azrael? No. I I'll tell you this, He's he has killed Sonic. Shit. This is the only character ha who has ever killed Sonic. Damn. Um, is it... This is kind of a hard one. I'll give you a hint. It starts with an M. Mega Shadow. Mega Shadow. That's your final answer? No, um... Can I use the internet? No. Just to, uh... Just to, like... Just to uh, find uh, demon names? The demon names. Alright, this is your lifeline right here. Alright? Yes. Can I use my lifeline? Y you may. Yeah. Two hours later. I got it. Um, is it Malthus? No. He doesn't have a mouth. Maimon. No. Mara. No. Marax. No. Marbus. No. Marchosias. No. Mistema. No. Melchirius. That sounds like a mountain. Malcolm. No. Mephistopheles. Oh, say it. Say it again. Mephistopheles. I'll give you that one. Mephilus the Dark. Yes, that one. That one. Yes. Yes, his name is based on Mephistopheles, which I believe was a demon. Yes, I, I found it on the internet. <laughs> oh my god, you actually found it. Yay! Two out of six, right? Uh, yes. Yes. I'll give you half a point on that one since you use the internet. I'll take what I can get. Alright, next one. Mm, Eggman. You're close. This is Eggman from a different universe, and he's a lot more evil than the current Eggman we know. Mr. Eggman. Professor Eggman. Some might say he's like the negative Eggman. Manic. Professor Manic. Is Eggman in the name whatsoever? Yes. But the title has changed. He this is the Eggman. He like he's more evil than the Eggman that we know. He, he's more evil. He's more negative. Nega Eggman? Eggman Nega! Yes! Next one! I swear I've seen this girl before. I've seen her, but I don't know her name. Um... Well, she is from the Soul Dimension. She's a... She's Blaze's best friend. 
Is she a raccoon? Yes. Um, let me see. Is her name based off of her appearance or her power? Well, she loves the ocean. She's she's a sea captain, and some might say that she's like the like she's from the Soul Dimension, and so people are saying that she's a counterpart to Tails, because Tails is from the Chaos Dimension, just like how Sonic is a counterpart to Blaze. Hmm. And she's supposed to be a counter to Tails. Yes, and she loves. Uh, she, remember, she's a sea captain. She loves the ocean. Hmm. And she, okay, this is not confirmed, but she might have water powers. So she might have pyrokinesis. Not pyrokinesis, hydrokinesis. Mm. Blazes have pyrokinesis. So she might have hydrokinesis. Uh, Aquafina? Mm, nope. Okay, so if she's like based off of the sea, is it Oceana? Keep going. Um,. Uh, Mm, Katara? Katara? I'm just, uh, I'm just like pulling out bullshit. Seeing what fits. <laughs> I'll give you another hint. It starts with an M. Is it like a mermaid? Well, she's not a mermaid. But is it like based off of mermaid? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Hmm. What else starts with an M and C? I don't know anything that starts with an M that has to do with the C, so I'm just gonna go with Madison. And let's see, and that's my final answer. Her name is Marina the Raccoon. Damn! You should have said something like, you know, the army or something. I would have got to that quickly. Yeah, well, uh, you know, when you think of the, like, the army out in the ocean, you think of the navy. Oh, that's true, that's true. Next one! This looks more like fan art. Well, this is the latest character in the IDW Sonic comics. Her gun, uh, or her weapon that she uses, it uh, uses uh, wisps. We saw the little alien that have uh, hyper go on powers, which Sonic can use to like transform to like different um, things, like a drill and a laser. She uses them, those aliens, as um, power sources to fill her weapons. So if she needs a hammer, she'll use a hammer wisp. If she needs a laser, she'll use the laser wisp. Is her name Wisp? She talks very quietly. Whisper? You got it! Yes! Next one! Alright, this is the last one. Shit. Yeah, this is a hard one. She only appeared in one game and only had one arc in the Sonic comics. What is her name based off of? Her appearance or her power? Well, her um, name isn't really based off of anything. Like, in the comics, she's a fashion designer. And she appeared in a fighting game. Brittany. I will say this. She is very sweet. Lucy. Keep going. Madison. I will say this. Her, um, in order to unlock her in uh, the fighting game, you need to go to Amy's character and do like some kind of code. So is it like a normal name like Amy or is it like a, a special name? Um, I mean, I guess you could call someone this. You know, she's very sweet. She's a nice person. Katie? Samantha? What do you call someone when you like them a lot? Love? Keep going. Friend? <coughs> Keep going. My my answer was so horrible that it just made Joe gag. <laughs> like I just gave him the Cornolis virus just by my answers alone. The Cornolis virus? Damn it! No, no! Edit that out! Edit that out! I don't want to see. What? Like a freaking cannoli? No! Fuck! You know how I struggle with English. <laughs> Um, uh, something that's sweet that I call uh, somebody that I like. Someone you like, someone you love. Honey? Honey the cat! Yes! You got it! Yes! Yes! I got like three and a half, right? 
Let's see, you got Bunny Rabot, you got Mephilus, Eggman Nega, and Honey the Cat. So you got 4 out of 10. What about Whisper the Wolf? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So 5 out of 10? Yeah, you got half of them right. Yes! 50%! That's still failing, but I'll take it. <laughs> so congratulations, you got half of these right. How do you feel? I feel awesome, especially since like how little I know about the Sonic fan. Um, this, this is fun. We should do this again. Yes. Well, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me here, Joe. Go check out her channel. My channel's more about my comics, personal comics that I have. It's like a, a hobby of mine, and I would really appreciate if you guys uh, check out my channel and supported me. Yeah, go check her out. Uh, this, this has been Too Fast Joe. Remember, go fast, don't be last. Bye!